first of all, new offerings. Give us how you are beefing up in potential to compete with Airbnb that seems to be getting into the vacation rental space that much more. Is that a worry? You know, uh, Caroline, when we start to think about this industry, one of the things that's uh, really going in our favor is that we look at the recent years, uh, the awareness of the particular category of vacation rentals, whole home properties as places to stay. It's really growing 30 to 40 percent uh, year over year in recent years. And so when you look at the overall marketplace, it's, uh, it's ripe with opportunity. And so it's not a situation where I think it's an either or. Where I think where we're very strong is that our roots is that we grew up with uh, having inventory that was really associated with being private and being whole homes oriented. So it's beach houses, it's mountain cabins. So we look at our inventory as very unique and very special. And uh, we think that uh, these are properties that consumers we know love. And so I'm not focused on the competition as, as much as I'm focused on really taking advantage of the opportunity that's in front of us, which is a, a growing awareness among the public travel market and making sure that we have the properties that fulfill their needs. How are you going to get those new properties coming to you over and above Airbnb if, if they are suddenly looking for cabins of their own? Actually, the way to think about it is, is that as long as you have demand in a particular market, what you want to make sure is that for that demand that you have the right inventory. So it's not about acquiring the most. Uh, the, the question really is, do you have the selection for the target audience that you're targeting? And so uh, for us, where we're very strong is that we specialize and focus on families. And so our properties, when we look at the value proposition, what we want to give them is a living room. We want to give them a kitchen. We want to make that experience easier yeah. uh, for them to book. And so this is where we are. We, we really, really do shine. And so we're just doubling down and making sure that this gets easier. We can acquire more properties like that in the markets that where we have demand. Let's talk about the ease of booking because about half currently are instant bookable. How will you make sure that all of them are? Can all of them become the two million that you have? Um, I don't think all of our properties are going to be instant bookable, nor do I think that they need to be. Uh, for example, we have a number of properties on our site that, you know, if they have 22 bedrooms, for example, there may be a Q&A back and forth that they need to have in regards to before a booking is actually made. Uh, because there might be some questions that the owner has for the traveler, and there might be some questions that the traveler has for the owner. So as you get to more sophisticated properties, as you get to more luxury properties, there's going to be more communication, and so instant book isn't necessarily the right answer for those particular use cases. How about the parent company, Expedia? One you know well, you were chief product officer over at Expedia. Uh, we might see yet more competition, I hate to say it once again, Airbnb, but some other players that are becoming more fully-fledged travel companies, looking to get into flights, looking to get into business as well. Is this something that Expedia and HomeAway is prepared for? You know, I think that uh, the travel industry has always been competitive, and so competition is nothing new. I think the thing that keeps you competitive, the things that you invest in that make you great, is a relentless focus on the user. And there's a million things in travel that you have to get right. And so this is not a game where you say, I have a big idea. This is a game where every single use case, every single pain point is resolved. And that takes time, that takes investment. And uh, Expedia and HomeAway, we're getting better at that every single day. And so that's the thing that we bet on. And that's what I, I love about the parent company, Expedia Inc. Talk to me about the regulatory risk or whether there's a lack thereof. You have a President Trump who was himself a hotelier, perhaps not always that pleased with the disruption of hotels. Is this something you've considered? And, and how are you seeing 2017 in terms of regulation? Um, you know, one of the things that we try to stay focused on is that you can do a lot of speculative, uh, you can have a lot of speculation in regards to what's going to happen next um, and what in people's incentives are. Uh, right now, I haven't heard anything uh, in regards to being proposed that would be coming from the offices of the president in regards to our industry. And so until that happens, we don't really want to speculate about these ideas because you can waste a lot of energy.